This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 16, Functions with Return Values, Puzzle 5, Debugging, and Multiple Return Statements. Having multiple return statements in a program can lead to tricky situations. True. You may use multiple return statements, but it makes it easier to introduce logical errors into your program. We're going to look at some examples, oh fun, of functions with return values that include logical errors and debug them. The goal is to recognize common errors with return values now so you can avoid writing them in your own programs. Makes sense? There is a logical error somewhere in the a version of MaxVal. You are about to see which uses re multiple return statements. As a result, the function works correctly for some inputs but not others. You'll need to inspect the code to understand what the issue is and make changes accordingly. In particular, look closely for the conditions that are not currently handled. Okay, so conditions, so things that can arise that the computer doesn't have an if statement for maybe? Run this program and identify errors generated in the output. Inspect the logic of max value to identify the error, the logical error. Correct the logical error so that the function returns the correct value for all inputs. All right, let's see what it does. Eight of eight is undefined. Why? Max val. Okay, let's try it again. Eight of eight of. Uh... Oh, okay. So here's what's going on. They're running this. We're doing a function call in these console logs to max val. 2 of 3 is 3. So when we have 2 for the argument and 3 for the argument, and then we run this, our program, our uh, function is going to say, okay, num1, what's num1? 2. Num2, what's num2? 3. Okay, 2 is not less than 3, so it skips this return, drops down, and does this return, and just returns number 2, because it's Oh, nope, and now it looks. Is num1 less than num2? If so, it does that. Oh, I already see an issue. So, okay. And so, if the number... All right, let's do this one, though. Five. If five is greater than one, well, that's true, so it will return. Okay? Right? So it returns here. Whereas in this one... It, this 2 is not greater than 3, so it drops down. Oh, well, 2 is less than 3, so it returns num2. Now max 8. 8 is not greater than 8. 8 is not less than 8. So there has to be a way we can do something there. What we can do is if they're equal, you can have them just return. So what... Ah, but you don't want to do that here. So less than, if I do let greater than or equal to... Actually, if I do greater than or equal to... Let's give this a shot. It does work. So now, if our number, if number one is greater than number two, it's going to return it. If it's equal than num two, it's going to return it. And the reason I said put the, I did the equal sign up here is because your program will run less code that way. If we know up here they're equal, I don't need to check if this is less than that. I want it to return. So greater than or equal to, we're going to return number one. And that took care of it. Awesome. Let's keep going. 